Hello YouTube, Six Four Fifty Eight here, and uh, welcome back. So this is a continuation of my project of refinishing my Smith & Wesson stocks for my Model 66. So in the previous steps, uh, we fitted the grips to the revolver and we removed the uh, old finish. Uh, one by abrasive means, two by acetone. So now, uh, here's a good opportunity now just to examine the, uh, the grips extremely well. And it gives you an opportunity to clean up any areas they, that might need some uh, minor adjustments. And uh, a lot of times when you remove the old finish, it kind of raises the grain. So again, it's a good opportunity to uh, take some uh, light sandpaper and do some minor adjusting and some minor sanding to it in order to get them, you know, uh, as close to, you know, perfect as you possibly can. So in this case, what I'll do, normally I'll examine the stock very well, you know, bring in some additional light. Uh, you'll find those spots like that that you we can address with some uh, light sanding. Look for chatter marks uh, along these flat areas, especially in here. Uh, most of these things were shaped on a on a machine, so they didn't really get uh, a lot of the, the hands-on uh, work that you know, you got the opportunity to do now. And I just usually look for little places where I can, uh, you know, really correct so that when I lay the new finish on, you know, it'll look uh, as, as well as possible, at least, you know, to my liking. But I'll look for places like that, like right here, there's a high spot. I'll be sanding that out. And uh, the back strap area looks good. And a lot of times you'll get these transitions here that are pretty acute. They may even be flat. You may just take some light sanding paper, maybe 500 grit, and just roll that over to smooth those out. I'll do the same uh, on this pair. Uh, right here, uh, there are some real light chatter marks there. I don't know if the, you can see them on the uh, camera or not. But I'll be working those out. Uh, the bottoms look extremely good. Right through here where you've got a change in the in the grain, there's a flat spot right there. So I'll be working on that to try to uh, give that a much more of a smooth transition, especially to marry up with this one. There's a little flat spot right here I'll also be working on. Uh, this one all in all looks real good up in this area. Uh, the medallions, as you can see, look very well. And uh, all in all, uh, these look good. So what I'll do is I'm going to start with some 500 grit sandpaper. And I don't want to be very aggressive with it, so uh, cut them in little small pieces, 500 grit. And we'll work on some of those areas. Now, you notice I'm going to leave the, check the checker areas covered because if you slip with that sandpaper, it's going to flatten them out, and you don't want to do that. The scotch Bright won't do it, well, at least not as easily as the sandpaper will, but I went ahead and covered them anyway because I don't want to uh, uh, create a stock that I go through all this work of finishing and then I've lost all the grippage on it, and it's just not going to look good. So I'm just going to work on that backstrap area just slightly. It's not going to require a lot, and I'm not trying to change the shape or anything. I'm just smoothing out the areas that are that are kind of flat, like right there. Now be careful with the medallions because this sandpaper will damage them, so I'm not being very careful about that. And just, just go around, make sure you get any areas out that need some attention. But you don't want to, uh, you don't want to change anything. Right along here where it's kind of flat, we'll just work that over just, just slightly. And we're just going to hit this real lightly with the 500 grit, and then we're going to go back with a finer paper uh, to even smooth out those lines. Right along here, you get a lot of chatter marks on these. You want to be careful not to round over the edges. You want to keep those nice and sharp. Okay. 
do the same on this one. Now right here, it's got some really nice, you can really feel the flat mark in there. So I'm gonna work on that one a little bit more aggressively. I'm gonna use my thumb kind of just to go around the contour of the grip because I want to I want to just smooth it out. I don't want to change it. I just want to smooth out that flat spot. And that's about all it takes. And one of the good parts about using sandpaper too is sometimes it exposes a, a even nicer a grain pattern under the old uh, the old surface. So you actually, once you're finished, you may actually have a stock that has a lot more patina than it did before you actually refinished them. And an oil finish will bring that out uh, very well. You'll be amazed at how well that's going to look. All right. That's real smooth. Now this area right there, there's a slight little ridge. I'm going to try to work on that. I want to bend that sandpaper to fit around that ridge because all I want to do is I want to round it over. I don't want to flatten it out anymore. I just want to round it over a little bit. Just a little bit. And it'll look much better on the, uh, on the revolver than it will with that flat spot on it. And it'll feel better in your hand as well. But you don't say so you don't want to change it. You just want to just smooth that transition a little bit. Okay. Everything else looks pretty good. Just want to dust it off a little bit. Make sure that we knock down all of that raised wood grain or wood fiber. And keep everything flat so that we don't round over any of the edges. And that looks pretty good. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now that was with 500 grit. Now I'm going to take a thousand grit and I'm just going to smooth over some of the roughness from the 500 grit and that's going to make for a much nicer finish. Now, any of you that may be concerned about, oh, it's getting too smooth, it's not, the, the finish is not going to adhere to this. The finish will adhere very you know, well because um, I'm using a polyurethane finish and it's been thin like 60 to 40, 60% 60 polyurethane, 40% mineral spirits. And it's going to be brushed on and then wiped in. And because it's so thin, it will definitely find and absorb well into the pores of the wood. So there's no danger of it not, you know, adhering or peeling off later. Okay. Now this isn't changing anything. All it's doing is just smoothing out the, the lines that were actually left by the 500 grit uh, sandpaper. Feels, looks very nice. Be careful around the medallions, and uh, things will be okay. Now this area right here, uh, if you're not careful, you'll easily you round that over way too much, and it'll it'll change the appearance of the grip. So just be very careful around that. I always usually just take a corner of the paper and just rub in there. I don't I don't try to do any sanding. I just kind of rub it in there in those areas to make sure I knock down any of the raised grain. And uh, check my work. Make sure it's fine. Just dust off the bottom a little bit. And uh, that one's good. Do the same with this one. And 
this one may require a little extra because I did a little sanding, a little more sanding on this, this panel than I did on the other panel. But not much. Again, we're just smoothing out the 500 grit lines from the 500 grit sanding. Not changing anything. All right, that's a lot smoother of a transition. Now, sometimes you're just not going to get out completely these high spots out. Uh, if you do, you, you may wind up thinning the panel too much. But the key is, is just to is just to smooth the transition. So it has not, you can't really, you can't really see it, but you'll be able to, uh, you can feel it, but it's not gonna be so easily noticeable, uh, just visually. What I'm gonna do is just keep sanding over it until I smooth it down a little. And I'm doing that with the 1000 grit rather than the 500 grit because the 500 grit may remove a lot, may remove a lot more of the material on the low side of the high spot. So I just want to smooth down the high spot so you don't see it or feel it as easily. And at the same time, it, it smooths the panel extremely well for the new finish. All right, that feels great. Just dust that lightly. Get the back strap. This is 1,000 grit, so like I said, it's not going to change anything. It's just smoothing out the 500 grit sanding lines. Now that medallion is recessed, so I'm really not going to hit it, but I do want to be careful around it. Okay. That looks very well. Now, <clears throat> as my last refinement, I'm going to take some 1200 grit. And I'm going to smooth it even a little bit more. Now, you can go up to 1500 or 2000 if you so choose. But because I'm going to be layering in my finish, that's really not necessary. If I were just going to do an oil finish, then I probably would, but because I'm going to use a multi-layered polyurethane, I don't really see the need or the benefit of going to a higher grit, especially on a on an item this small. If it was a a box, a jewelry box, or a display case, probably, which I have a presentation case that that revolver came in that I'll, I'm going to refinish and I'll probably go all the way up to 3000 grit on it because I want it to do like a really nice display case or presentation case but just for these stocks I think uh, 1200 or 1500 grit would be more than sufficient okay I'm just going to demonstrate this on these two panels. I'm going to do the other one off camera. And, uh, and I think after this, we'll be ready to begin the uh, applying the new finish. Again, just be careful in here. You don't want to change the shape of anything. You just want to clean up. Okay, that looks great. Now, <clears throat> at this point, you're ready to remove the, uh, the painter's tape from your checkering areas because that area is gonna need a little bit of attention as well. It's a good opportunity to do this now as opposed to start to applying your new finish and wish you had done it. So we wanna move the painter's tape. Now, in, inside of these grooves, Sometimes they'll get a, they're a little rough from when they, I guess, when they uh, make the stalks, they kind of mill it in. So now's a good time to uh, clean that out and uh, smooth those areas. And what I do here is I'll take some thousand grit sandpaper and I'll just fold it over. Try to make it uh, real close to the width of the groove. And I'll just go around the groove 
won't do anything extensive in it. Just go around the groove, clean out uh, any sort of high spots, any lumps of uh, accumulated uh, sawdust that may have settled and gotten hard over the years. Just go in and clean that out. Uh, you'll see why when we get to the finishing process. If it's anything high in there, when you lay in the new finish, it's just going to become a lot more pronounced. And uh, it'll detract from the uh, from the whole process. Do the same thing on the other panel. Usually not anything major. It's just uh, again, you gotta remember these were production uh, pr products, so uh, the craftsman didn't spend a whole lot of extra time uh, with the little intimate details that you and I have the time to do because uh, we're looking for something that we want to put in a show quality condition. All right, didn't take long at all. Now what you're going to now you uh, need a stiff bristle brush because you just want to clean out any loose debris uh, from the checkered areas and in and in the grooves because when you start laying that finish in once you put it in there once you start laying that finish it's going to be and it's not going to come out now this brush is stiff but it's not going to lay any marks or any scratches on this uh on this stock. It's not as hard as the wood, so it's not going to do any damage. And I'm not sawing it, I'm just brushing it out real good. Uh, maybe just a little more pressure than you would if you were, you know, brushing your teeth. But uh, that's about it. And you want to get it all out if you can. And okay. You got some air or canned air or something like that just blow it all out ready to apply the new finish. So I'll repeat the same process on this set. I'll do it off camera and the next time you see me we'll be ready to apply the first coat of the new finish. So until then, Spix 458, signing out.